Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. It's Monday, which means it's time for our weekly painting progress. And my daughter has been nagging, and I mean nagging, and she's quite good at nagging. She takes after both of her parents in all the wrong ways in that regard. Uh, she's been nagging for me to paint this Nezuko model for her from Kimetsu no Yaiba, and I finally sucked it up and tried to do it, and well, yeah, she's done. I tried, and I really did try to get those eyes, and they're sloppy, I, I admit. Uh, it's just too small, and the paint started to bunch up on her face. I'm just like, mm. We gave it a shot. It looks like Nezuko, at least. She's happy about that, so. Yeah. Look at it with a terrible job I did on the bottom. We'll ignore that. But it looks nice. Nice enough. She's happy. And that means I'm happy, so. We got her done. What else did we get done? Well, we went ahead and finished some more of the Grim Watch. This is the female member. With her trophy rack. You can see Nezuko is a lot bigger than expected. And then we've got the Munchy member of the Grim Watch. Having a snack. I think the only model left from the Warband now is the Parabats, and they should be just about finished. Let's see, what else do we have this week? A random Deep Cuts Dwarf. Not super exciting, but you know what? He's finished. I want to say he's a Barbarian. It's funny, I'm not a big fan of Dwarves, but I seem to keep painting them. Maybe I do really do like Dwarves, I don't know. I got the model limited edition guy from Bushido finished. I tried giving him some tattoo designs, but meh, it came out a garbly mess. But at least it looks like there's something on him, and I tried to paint it up. I do like him. What was he, eldest brother? Something like that? Or is that the other guy? I don't remember. But it's supposed to be a badass tattooed swordsman drinking. It looks alright. I'm satisfied with him. Now i got to get his Oni brother finished. Okay, what else do we get? Well, we printed a bunch of models a while back and got some of those painted up. And this is one of the tieflings from Skies of Sordain. With a quick paint job. And like he has that butt cheek cleft chin. A dashing rogue if I ever saw one. Good size model too. He came up pretty good. Uh, and then we tried to paint up the Kunoichi from Blood Orange Miniatures. And I did an awful job on the bases. Uh, I probably should have sanded them down, but I just didn't care. And other than the fact that I'm not happy with the face, I think the paint scheme ended up working out pretty well. I'm not sure if they're just supposed to be super scantily clad ninja ladies. I went with a bodysuit type look. And I just had the some uh, I can't talk today. Sarada's Braves in mind. I like this one. She looks cool with all her ninja stars everywhere. Plus her base isn't anywhere near as bad. I like how I cheated and threw a bunch of sand on top of the pockmarked area that had all of the supports on it. She came out okay. Other than the fact that uh one of her ribbons tails is broken. I didn't know what to do with the tonfas. But I dug them. Made me think of uh, Dynasty Warriors. And that's always a good thing. Nobody does enough Dynasty Warriors style models. Hint, hint, anybody out there who is in need of coming up with some unique models. And I finally went ahead and tried to paint this guy. I'm like, oh yeah, he, he did not come out good, but that is 100% my fault. He has no nose left. Um, this was from Bestiera Miniatures. They had their shape-shifting, transforming guys. Like, here's one of the other ones, the one-armed swordsman dude. And then grows big bloody swords. Anyway, um, I just didn't do a good job of printing him. And I figured I already had it. I might as well just go all in with it. It didn't make sense to throw him out. Um, other than the fact that it's super duper rough, and again, that's 100% me, so I figured let's just go ahead, let's finish him off, we'll find a use for him. 
And then, it wouldn't be a week on obscurities with obscurities in miniatures, I don't even know what my channel is called anymore, without a few Kingdom Death models. So I went ahead and actually tried to paint up the Architects. This was the male one, and he is one of the few male models, and he also had an optional head. I liked his Kakugo no Susume Apocalypse Zero looking battle suit looking face there, so I went with that naturally. And then we got the female one painted up, and I hadn't seen her. She was pretty rough around the edges. She was a Black Friday model, if I believe correctly and was one of their early 3D printed models and it was really rough on this cape here and then I tried to clean it up and it just made it worse so I'm like let's stop now she does have a similar helmet needed to have some pink anime hair I like the proportions on her I feel like she's I don't know why but I, she feels more dynamic than the male version I also think she's a little bit taller just a tad bit but those are two models I do not see painted very often so I'll try to get those online for others to try to improve upon mine and then we got Satan finished up not a flashy super amazing paint job I've seen some great ones I've seen some coming up on Instagram that people are working on but mine's done for as mediocre as she is the paint job not the model, the model looks cool but she's finished and I believe I only have maybe three or four Death High models left until I have both shown and painted the entire subline. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, I know there's some of the other people out there on, like, the Kingdom Death Facebook group that have finished all of them already, but they don't paint anywhere near as much stuff and obviously they do it much better than me but overall nice breadth of figures this week and hopefully next week we will continue that trend and I cannot believe that we're already getting towards the middle of September that is just bonkers so hopefully I'll have some other interesting models to show you and more Kingdom Death because why not right with that said this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon bye bye